Do testosterone shots cause infertility? That's what we want to talk about in this video. We're going to discuss some of the signaling involved with testosterone injections and how that relates to fertility. Uh, three different sort of categories of people or, you know, kind of broke it up into three scenarios uh, that may be um, pertinent to your situation as it relates to testosterone shots and infertility. My name is Dr. Taranella and I have a lot of experience uh, treating males uh, with testosterone injections. Some of which uh, are having fertility issues as well. So I wanted to post this video to give you a little bit more information and context uh, if you're thinking about doing testosterone shots, worried about fertility, and things like that. So if you have questions uh, about anything posted in this video, you can ask them in the comment section. If you like this type of information, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. Do testosterone injections, testosterone shots cause infertility? The answer is yes, it can, and no, it doesn't necessarily have to. So we want to talk about some of the signaling that's involved with uh, production of spermatozoa and how that relates to fertility, and also discuss uh, different sort of segments of the population that may be more susceptible or less susceptible to getting infertility from taking testosterone shots. So first let's talk about the signaling. So the uh, cells in your testes are where the spermatozoa and testosterone are produced. These are called the Sertoli cells for the spermatozoa and the Leydig cells for the testosterone production. These are the cells that produce these corresponding hormones and the spermatozoa. So <clears throat> those cells are triggered to produce these uh, products from signals that come from the brain. Uh, the Sertoli cells are stimulated to produce uh, spermatozoa through follicle stimulating hormone and the Leydig cells through luteinizing hormone. So when the brain perceives higher amounts of testosterone around, it will then decrease the production of these two signaling hormones. As a result, you get less output of testosterone and spermatozoa from the testes. In that sense, when you're taking testosterone injections and your overall serum levels are much higher, you will have a decreased production of spermatozoa. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's completely shut off. This isn't a light switch type of mechanism, it's a dimmer switch. So it can uh, downregulate and upregulate even within a given week. So it's not like once you go on testosterone injections, you're never going to produce any sperm at all ever again. So then you get into uh, these sort of three categories, uh, or arbitrarily made three categories of people to think about, um, you know, different different uh, mechanisms that may be uh, helpful to help you understand uh, whether or not this is going to be something that's going on with you or not. So, firstly, um, and if you're currently taking testosterone or not. So once you stop the testosterone, you're going to have a re-initiation of um, testosterone production and spermatozoa. Uh, how much? Uh, it's hard to say, but if you're on testosterone injections for a year, say, you will have a rebound in your levels. So when you're on the testosterone, your, your brain's going to decrease the production of these two hormones follicle-stimulating hormone and uh, luteinizing hormone, when you stop the testosterone injection, it will kind of come back. So you will have a, 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 a production of the spermatozoa again, pretty much going to come back to where it left off at. Now, there's no hard data on, you know, how exactly, how much it's going to come back, if it's 100%, 90%, 50%, but it's not zero. I can tell you that for sure because I've tested many patients uh, and had successful um, pregnancies, um, people coming off testosterone, and in some cases, they don't even go off of it to begin with. So, um, so that's one thing to think about. And then in the case that, you know, you really are concerned about fertility, but you still feel like you need to take the testosterone injections, that's a case where you're probably going to want to take some 
uh, HCG or Clomid, depending on where you're at on that spectrum. If you already know you have fertility issues, you know, low sperm count, etc., you might want to go with the Clomid. If you're you know, unsure and you just want to have some, you know, reassurance to keep the cells uh, stimulated, uh, then you may want to do some HCG. Either one of these are something you should be doing on a regular basis. Um, you should take pauses from it because even the cells can get sort of desensitized to these hormones uh, as well. So, um, and then the other is, you know, if, if you really are having concerns about this, you probably before, you know, if you have the opportunity, you may want to look at where you're starting at with your uh, sperm count and some of the other parameters before you go on testosterone. That way, <clears throat> you'll know that it's, you know, not necessarily from this or it is from this and you can uh, deploy some of these other mechanisms to keep the uh, spermatozoa at the same level or at least at a sufficient level um, to allow for a pregnancy to occur. Um, so, so that's pretty much it. I want to, I mean, a lot of times you see, uh, I have patients come in that's, that are really concerned about this and they, uh, their wives are concerned, um, et cetera. And, uh, just wanted to say that, you know, it's not a, a hard on and off switch. I've had many successful pregnancies of guys on testosterone injections, uh, during taking the injections and then some we had to transition off. So it really depends kind of where you're, where you're at on that spectrum of, you know, decreased production. Uh, are you at the hundred percentile or starting out at the 50th percentile? If you're on that lower end of sperm, sperm production, you know, you're probably going to have to come off the testosterone if you're having fertility issues.